करो पल की चिंता ना करो डू एन डू द एक्शन बट डोंट हैव एन एसोसिएट डोंट एक्सपेक्ट एनी रिजल्ट दैट्स अनदर फूलिशनेस बिकॉज़ यू नो कर्म करो फल की चिंता मत करो डू अ बिजनेस एंड डोंट वरी अबाउट प्रॉफिट विल यू डू अ बिजनेस हाउ कैन यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू योर बेस्ट इफ देयर इज नो गोल ha huh? then you will not put your best actually this concept is not there in bhagavad gita karm karo phal ki chinta mat karo okay now you have smashed my understanding of karma yoga do your actions as a sacrifice to god karma yoga is acting for god on the orders of god krishna okay i have to do what you say hmm what you want what you desire i understand but the problem is <laughs> i have lust hi welcome to kc talks in the series of podcasts that we are having with dr keshavananda swami on bhagavad gita we are now entering into the most crucial chapter called karma yoga the third chapter of bhagavad gita hare krishna swami hare krishna karma yoga The ninety percent of the philanthropists, yeah, yeah, yeah they've taken so. their entire understanding from this chapter called Karma Yoga. Yeah. So, so let's go deep diving into Karma Yoga, Swami Ji. So, what is Karma Yoga? Well, first of all, Karma Yoga is not doing your job <laughs> with ethics. Hmm. Karma Yoga is not just being a good person. Hmm. Karma Yoga is not to do your work without. expecting any results hmm. that's all not karma okay so karma yoga yoga means connection with god hmm. yoga yuj dhatu connect hmm. any action which helps you to connect with god that is karma yoga okay so what kind of action will help you to connect with god that is bhakti service to god hmm. any the action which is not service to god that will not help you to connect with god that is called as karma and not karma yoga oh that's a difference okay so most of the people they are doing karma hmm which is binding them in this material world either good or bad it will act every action is a reaction produces reaction okay but karma yoga if you do action for god hmm as god wants hmm as he has ordered us to do hmm in scriptures Hmm. then yoga then you connect with god and then there is no reaction oh so that is karma yoga this is entirely different from anybody's yeah. understanding right yeah 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 so i was only told from my childhood karma karo phal ki chinta yeah, na karo do a na- do the action but don't have an associate don't expect any result that's out of that's another an foolishness because you know karm karo phal ki chinta mat karo do a business and don't worry about profit <laughs> will you do a business <laughs> that's completely logical That's no, but we can uh, probably we can work on something, not expecting result. And that doesn't happen. Doesn't practically happen. Neither Krishna is saying that. I can play cricket. Yeah. For India. Yeah. Not having, not. No, I'm just playing. Oh I'm giving my best, <laughs> but I'm not planning to <laughs> win. Well, I'm not on. playing to win the game. Come on, uh, every Indian cricketer wants to win the game, you know. <laughs> but but I can I can be one of those players who is just giving his best, but I'm not. Then you can't do your best. how can you, you will not be able to do your best if there is no goal huh then you will not put your best that's oh. ridiculous there has to be some goal isn't it yes so what's your goal of playing then in that way when a scientist is working on an invention he will of course have a result out of it yeah so he is he is expecting result that's why he'll put pushing hard 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 he wants to achieve that result that's why we push hard Okay. Well, if this philosophy I'll win or not, then you simply keep on playing, <laughs> not push hard. Okay, fine, you know. Then that's called time pass. Yeah. You'll not excel. No, there should be. Su- it can't be so illogical. It's, there should be. Is. Su- it is. How, it is illogical. How can a, how can something which is so famous in the world yeah. is completely illogical? Yeah, there are many things famous in this world. <laughs> it is completely illogical. There are so many things in this world. There India. should be some action which I can still do without. anticipating that that day. is that is devotion that's what i was saying but even in devotion we expect result there is actually this concept is not there in bhagavad gita it's not, not there. there in bhagavad gita no you show it to me where it is you show it to me which 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 words you are referring to you show it to me where where this is 
कर्म करो फल की चिंता मत करो लेट्स सी आई डोंट फाइंड एनी वर्स इफ इफ यू कैन फाइंड द वर्स यू कैन टेल मी देर हाउ डिट ऑल सो मेनी फेमस पीपल कोटेड दिस देर वॉज वन गीता प्रेस कैलेंडर ओके विच द पब्लिश्ड एंड इन दैट दे रोड गीता सार इन दैट दे रोड कर्म करो फल की चिंता मत करो एंड इट वॉज प्रमोटेड बाय आई थिंक इन ऋषिकेश देर वॉज वन स्वामी ही प्रमोटेड इट ओ so by who did that translation uh, i don't know it's was completely ridiculous translation it's completely nonsense so in the entire karma yoga chapter hmm. there is no shloka which says you do an action without expecting a result there is no shloka there is one words karmanne vadika raste ma phaleshu kadachan you have heard this ah yeah that's a very famous shloka yeah yeah that's what i was w- what does that shloka mean trying to see here but it but i think it that's not in the third chapter i don't think so that's in the third chapter but but that philosophy is coming from that karmanye vadikar karmanye vadikar raste ma phaleshu kadachan let's have a look uh, it is there in the index if you see karmanye vadikar raste ma phaleshu kadachan ye here ha ah, 2.47 which in second chapter second chapter yeah second chapter 47th verse okay. so now you see i'll 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 show you the translation here second chapter 47th verse uh it that philosophy is coming from second chapter 47 ma here you have the right to per- i'm reading the english you mm-hmm. have the right to perform now this verse why i'm quoting this verse from second chapter although we're talking about about third chapter mm-hmm. because third chapter is karma yoga mm-hmm. and second chapter was contents of gita summarized yes 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 he has summarized everything yeah so he summarized third chapter in 47th verse good mm-hmm. there's, a, there's a link that's why i'm quoting yes, it yes yes so do you see the translation you have the right to perform your prescribed duty mm-hmm. but you are not entitled to the fruits of action you are not entitled yeah that means you should think of fruits mm. and do the action mm. but when the fruits come offer it to me don't keep it to yourself give the credit to me if you win give the credit to me mm. if you have profit in business give the profit to me some portion of profit but you have to think of the profit you have to think of winning hmm this is a translation never consider yourself the cause of the result of your activities hmm we are not the cause the cause is krishna krishna is giving us inspiration power blessings to win hmm never be attached to not doing your duty hmm this is a translation so translation is completely wrong no but this doesn't tell about not having doing an action without anticipating for a result yeah that doesn't it doesn't tell that where have these people made this from i don't know that is their interpretation <laughs> of karma yoga yeah that it? is their interpretation but lord doesn't mean that lord doesn't mean that there was one boy who just came i was manipal i was giving a lecture one boy came and he said swami ji i read hanta bhagavata i'm so happy i'm doing my business and i now don't consider about profit and loss and i'm just doing my business for the sake of doing so i asked him did your business grow he said well last 3 years it didn't grow but <laughs> so then i told you a fool krishna doesn't advise that e krishna is even telling arjuna win this battle where did he say that when ta bhagavad gita he says no <laughs> he said i am doing this fight okay so that dharma should win over dharma that is the point ha that is a whole agenda agenda is that yes so yes. so arjuna has to keep in mind i have to win this battle so that dharma wins over adharma so there is a there is expectation of fruit isn't it winning hmm so the person who is hearing bhagavad gita hmm. he, <laughs> he is not he is not acting on this foolish principle karm karo phal ki chinta mat karo okay now you have smashed my understanding of karma yoga <laughs> and rather you are smashing the generic understanding yeah, of yeah. karma yoga to the people yeah. so karma yoga first of all doesn't mean you do an action without anticipating for a result hmm. this is not karma yoga then what is karma yoga yeah now what is karma yoga is karma yoga is acting for god on the orders of god okay that is karma yoga what he wants from us that we should do and how do i know what god wants from me and that he will tell in bhagavad gita in third chapter krishna tells what he wants for and okay. it, that's why third chapter begins with a question arjuna ask athakena prayuktam papam charati niyojasa hmm arjuna ask a question krishna 
ओके आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई टू फॉलो योर ऑर्डर इन माई माइंड आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट इज कर्म योग आई नो बट यू आर एंगेजिंग मीन टू सिंफुल एक्शन किलिंग माई गुरु किलिंग सो मेनी इनोसेंट पीपल वाई यू डूइंग दैट देन कृष्ण एक्सप्लेन अर्जुन कर्म योगा मीन्स फॉलोइंग माई ऑर्डर्स एंड वेन यू फॉलो माई ऑर्डर्स डोंट थिंक ऑफ सिन एंड पायस वी बी ऑन दैट त्रिगुना तीर्थ दैट दैट वर्ड विल कम लेटर वी बी ऑन योर ओन आइडियाज ऑफ गुड एंड बैड एंड जस्ट फॉलो वट आई से दैट इज कर्म योग लिविंग अ माइंड इंटेलिजेंस साइड फॉलो वॉट कृष्णा सेस विद दिस फेथ वॉट एवर कृष्णा सेस दैट विल बी फॉर द अल्टीमेट वेलफेयर फॉर द एंटायर सोसाइटी ऑल दो नाउ आई कॉन्ट सी बट इट विल बी बेनिफिट द एंटायर सोसाइटी सो जस्ट फॉलोइंग द ऑर्डर्स ऑफ गुरु और ऑर्डर्स ऑफ कृष्णा हियर टू दिस कंटेक्सट इज कर्म योग दैट्स योर सिंपल डेफिनेशन ऑफ कर्म सिंपल डेफिनेशन दैट्स वेरी सिंपल वॉट्स अ बिग थिंग इन Okay. Yes, very simple. So nothing more to karma yoga other than that, Swami ji. <laughs> I want to uh, quote a verse here uh, for you. I'll tell you the translation. Um, have you heard that was yagya arthat karma nitra? Hmm. Lokoyam karma bandhana. Yes. Have yes. you heard that verse? I heard that. Hmm. Uh, I think I can't really uh, find that verse here, but but that verse says. यज्ञ अर्थात कर्म नेत्र लोकम कर्म बंधना दैट वर्ड से इज डू योर एक्शन एज अ सैक्रीफाइस टू गॉड इफ यू डोंट डू दैट देन यूल देन यूल बी बाउंड इन एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन इफ यू डू सिंपली कर्मा यू विल बी बाउंड बाइंडेड यज्ञनाथ कर्म नेत्र लोकम कर्म बंधन बंधन इफ यू डोंट डू एनी थिंग फॉर मी इट विल बी बंधन Hmm. But if you do things for me, yagya shishta asinin, so then you will be free from all reactions. So, my but my question is, in Bhagavad Gita, he is personally present. He wants Arjuna to fight the war. So there is a personalized. He Arjuna is knowing that I am doing it for the Lord. Hmm. But wha- how is that applicable in my day to day life? Uh, yeah, Krishna says, okay, when Arjuna was there, I wanted him to fight. Mm. Now, after the fight, mm. Krishna says, "My general instruction for everybody is mm. that please chant my names. Mm. You see, serve me, mm. follow my orders. My orders are be truthful, mm. don't do sin, mm. do your duties according to Varnashrama, your 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 uh, uh, your duties in this material world mm. uh, with a with a good consciousness, mm. and offer the results to me." Where are all these orders coming from? This is all Krishna is saying in Bhagavad Gita. So this is third chapter. For us, he is telling all yeah, these. Yeah. So following his own instructions is karma yoga. Yeah, that's all. One question, Swami ji. Where does he say you chant my name in this? He says, he says in uh, Bhagavad Gita. Later it will come uh, more. Satatam kirtan to maam. He says always do my kirtan. तेषा सत्युक्त नाम भजता प्रीति पूर्वक डू मै भजन विथ लॉर्ड ऑफ एफेक्शन इट विल कम ही विल एक्सप्लेन इन द इन द लेटर चैप्टर सो वॉट एवर यू आर टॉकिंग यू विल शो मी प्रमाण फ्रॉम भगवद गीता या 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 विदाउट भगवद गीता वी डोंट यू सी हेयर फिफ्टीन वर्ड्स थर्ड चैप्टर कर्म ब्रह्मोद्भव विद्धि ब्रह्मक्षर समुद्भव तस्मा सर्वगत ब्रह्म नित्यम यज्ञ प्रतिष्ठित Translation: Regulated activities are prescribed in Vedas. Hmm. Vedas are directly manifested from me. Hmm. Consequently, all pervading transcendence—that hmm. means God—is eternally situated in the act of sacrifice, and that hmm. is why we should do sacrifice. Sacrifice means sacrificing our own desires, hmm. our own agendas, and fulfilling the desires of God and His agendas. That is karma. Fulfilling the desires of God. Yeah, simple. Okay, I have I understood one action. If a if an army mm. journal or army uh, person mm. sacrifices his life for country, mm. is that karma yoga? No, because it's not connected with God. But here uh, fighting here here also they are fighting, no, Swami. Here they are fighting on the orders of God. 
Huh, so serving a nation because the nation has to be protected. But so that's are... not the order of God. That is nation they have made themselves. Am I right? Mm. India, Pakistan. Mm. Before there was no Pakistan. Mm. So they were not fighting with them. Mm. Afterwards they drew artificial line. Mm. And now they are fighting, isn't it? It's all artificially man-made things which they are fighting for. Okay, so according to you, um, just following the instructions of yeah. the Lord. But if they fight for dharma, hmm. then that is following God. Now what is dharma? Uh, dharma. Now karma yoga, you ask a very good question. Although the chapter's name is karma yoga, hmm. karma yoga means dharma. Oh, yeah. Okay. Simple karma is karma. Okay. Karma yoga, if you want to summarize those two words into one word, Huh. That is dharma. Oh, yeah. Dharyate iti dharma. Dharma is that which sustains your soul. Hmm. Which nourishes your soul. And what nourishes your soul? A connection with God. Hmm. So if you are following dharma, which is mentioned in scriptures, hmm. dharma, smriti, shastra, all these things, hmm. even in Gita, you see, dharma is mentioned in further chapters in this chapter. Wow, it's a very new explanation of dharma. Yeah. Dharma, I heard, is something which is inseparable from that particular. The dharma of fire is to burn. The <laughs> dharma of water <laughs> yeah, is yeah. to, is to you know, make us wet. Yeah. yeah, those are examples. Analogies. Analogies. Okay. But practical explanation is this. So, any jiva who is for... Actually, the dharma of a jiva is to do karma yoga. Yeah. The, is this how it that's is? That's true. That's true. Oh, that's how it goes. And karma yoga is following the instructions of the Lord. Yeah, simple. But sacrificing the results, you know, how do we do that? Simple. I mean to say, if you get some result, okay. in your mind you have to think that, my Lord, thank you very much. This credit goes to you. That's the reason after doing everything in a Vedic yeah, thing, we right. do Krishna Arpanamastu. Ah, Krishna Arpanamastu, yeah. Or any Agya also. Yeah. Krishna Arpana Mastu. Yes. So that's the whole point. Yes. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpana Mastu. That mm -hmm. means he is doing everything for the... Yeah. Just like Ekadashi, today's Ekadashi, huh. we follow. So in tomorrow morning, we'll take Sankalpa huh. and then we will we will pour the Sankalpa and, and, and then we'll say Hari Prinana Mastu. Hmm. For Hari's pleasure, I did this. Hmm. So that's how you offer things. A very good explanation. You said doing karma yoga is the dharma. Yeah. Is the dharma of the soul. Yeah. That's mm. how it goes. That's a perfect understanding. Beautiful. <laughs> mm. So my complete understanding of karma yoga is has changed after talking yeah. to you. Because what I was thinking of karma yoga is basically karma. Mm. You are actually entangled in the karma. Mm. Because you are doing something, then you have effects of it. Mm. So I am entangled. But doing karma yoga, you will not be entangled in the karma. Because you are offering everything that you do hmm. to Krishna. Yeah. So okay. there is dharma of soul. Yeah, You do that. Uh, dharma on the level of body also. You engage this body in service of Krishna. Hmm. You do something for him. Hmm. Dharma at the level of society. Hmm. Or Krishna says you should, you should manage society like this. Hmm. That is called Varnashrama dharma. Yes, yes. So all this is karma yoga. Hmm. All these things Krishna is talking in third chapter. Okay, everything is talking. And then finally Arjuna asks a beautiful question. Hmm. And he says, Prajahati Yada Kaman. He says, uh, Arjuna asks question, Krishna, okay, I have to do what you say, hmm. what you want, what you desire. I understand. Your desires and your ideas are recorded in scriptures. Hmm. Smriti Shastra, Vedas, and Gita also you said. I'll do that, okay. But the problem is, <laughs> I have lust. Lust means desires. I have my own desires. Mm. I'm addicted to my own desires. Mm. And by reflex, I will do what I want, <laughs> even if you tell me something. Oh, that is like that, no? Mm. Now Krishna says, control your senses. Uh oh, how should I? We'll, I would, we'll go out of control. Mm. So Krishna, Arjuna asks, what to do of this mm. problem? was a solution and Krishna gives a solution to that. What is it Swamiji? Krishna says, okay. Krishna says, begin. Tasmatva Mindriya Start. 
practicing sense self restraint self control but don't first control your mind because controlling mind will be very problematic start with your body engage your body and senses in my service hmm and then automatically mind will become easy to control that's what his recommendation is that's the ending of this third chapter yeah, is it yeah. the final recommendation he says is with what karma indriyas you are actually doing karma yeah. you offer that karma to me yeah and as far as possible if you can engage directly your senses in my service do that so all the and, that, and th- that is why whenever a person comes to temple hmm. we ask him okay okay can you clean the temple hmm you know wash the vessels hmm do do something or maybe or maybe uh, okay fine if he doesn't want to come to temple then we say okay in your life you get up early in the morning hmm you know do something do something see engaging senses means karma indriyas yeah that is what you are talking about yeah, right yeah. so initially krishna recommends arjuna that you involve your karma indriyas your senses hmm. directly to me hmm and don't think of controlling mind now at no, this stage no, or not now oh so now practical application what will a doctor do with this how doctor, how does a doctor if if by profession you are also a doctor, doctor will do okay dharma you see hmm. don't cheat hmm all you will be allowed to cheat hmm don't do that hmm okay and then uh, whatever profit you get from your business hmm put in service of the lord some portion by some portion because it no, has to be sacrificed because, no, because he has to uh, run so, his life also mm-hmm. you know maintenance you need is that a reason why this uh, dashab dasham yeah, yeah, bhag yeah, is dasham, there yeah, yeah that the is 10% right. is there is in right. christianity minimal 10% muslim vedas speak 50% vedas is 50% <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 50% of your yeah you should give profit has to be given yeah. for dharma yeah but uh, if you can't then minimum 10% Mm. So like that uh, uh and what will happen by giving the 10% will i be purified after by giving the 10% yeah, if, you, if you give to god hmm it's your hard earned money hmm if you give to god you will get connected to him hmm where your money goes you will think of it no yes and you will become attached to god i'm giving to him hmm and his blessings will come okay so very beautiful So, so slowly you get the power to control yourself isn't it so first of all engaging our gross senses in the service of the lord we will purify senses mm. is that the process yeah and why should you purify your senses by engaging it to the lord because otherwise it will be very difficult to purify your mind mm first senses senses are easy okay mind is difficult directly if you do mind it will be impossible Mm-hmm. I mean, if 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 anybody comes new in the temple, mm-hmm. and if you say chant, sit and chant, she chant sixteen rounds with me, he will mm-hmm. not be able to do that. Mm-hmm. He'll go mad. His mind will wander. Yeah, but you can do because uh, one who's practiced, who's mm-hmm. purified the senses, they can peacefully sit and chant. Okay. So okay, this is a very, you know, very. Je- all what you are talking is more related to the to an institution and to mm. to a bhakti and to your organization but if you have to say this to the world how does a doctor has to function an engineer you know a businessman a chartered accountant yeah, a politician all, yeah okay how fine. do they apply all this all this are written in dharma shastra okay how does a politician has to act he should refer to niti shastras hmm how doctor has to act he should refer to ayurveda mm. although he is allopathic doctor mm. there are ethics how to practice medical field which is spoken by god mm. and uh, how should a engineer act he should refer to shilpi shastras mm. so natya shastra mm. there is uh, uh, there are instructions uh, for like film industry you know mm. what are the ethics are there Mm. so you follow that so every field is mentioned in vedas mm. what gods from us how we should practice mm. and how we should get the results from that practice and give credit to god mm. that has to be learned mm. so it's it's not at the social level 
hmm. and that at an individual level if he even doesn't understand all this shastra sanatya shastra shilpi shastra but if he at least because the today situation is complex if he works you know genuinely professional ethics and follows professional ethics no, professional ethics are westernized things okay we don't go according to that yeah no but i'm speaking for a mundane society okay. professional ethics and at least whatever he is not cheating he is not overcharging he is okay. really trying to help a patient okay. and out of which whatever he gets if he gives certain part of it for dharma mm. then will he be purified for will god ha huh? charity to god charity to god yeah. of course he will be purified that's a starting because you spoke about engaging senses directly to the god mm. like god's temple making god's uh, you know cleaning the gods so this is very you know very you know only refined to a, a monastery yeah, this is a starting of karma yoga hmm first step of karma yoga hmm he will be purified okay but if we want to advance in karma yoga hmm then he should also directly engage his senses hmm. in service of god so what is your advice to the most of the world which are not part of any monasteries or anything how do they actually benefit doing karma yoga well my our advice according to bhagavad gita is follow ethics don't cheat mm. you know earn properly mm. give some portion of that earning mm. in charity to god mm. not give charity to blind institutions all of that that doesn't count mm. that is pious things but we are going to talking about god mm. give it to god and uh, and to further his mission and for mm. the benefit and the third thing is follow some kind of uh, basic lifestyle conduct in your life Mm. Get up early in the morning. Mm. Go to temple at least. Pay obi senses at least. This they can do, mm. you know. And then start reading Bhagavad Gita daily, so mm. that you understand how you progress, how you go about. Mm. At least spend fifteen minutes of reading Bhagavad Gita. Mm. That's all. And if you can chant his names, very nice. So this is the best to start. Yeah, person wants to become a karma yogi. It is best that he, whatever he is doing, his profession, let him do with professional ethics. Yeah, but that profession should not be a sinful profession. Now, what are sinful professions? I mean, a slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse, yes, definitely. You know, and uh, wine shops. Okay. That should not be any profession. Thieves, burglary, terrorism. <laughs> not good okay. profession. Yeah, sinful professions. Mm. That's all. Super, very practical approach, Swami Ji. So. you insist most of the sanatana followers should follow professional mm. ethics mm. and try to give a certain part of their hard earnings for the spread of dharma yeah superb and more important than this what i liked in this particular uh, uh, you know episode of karma yoga with you is you said doing karma yoga is the dharma of the soul yeah that's, that's a true. very good take away from this swami thank you so much hari krishna hari krishna, hare krishna. Hare krishna.